What is smooth wall? Well, people, sorry I should have probably started with uh, the whole ad blocking thing. People wondering how I do it. Well, a few people seem to be interested, so anyway. Quick ex explanations, I use smooth wall. Smooth wall is an open source project which is free. So you can download it and do it if you want to, which is a good thing. There's no restriction. It's not the same as Microsoft where you buy it and you can put it on one system. This you can put it on as many computers as you want. And it will install on a lot of older systems, so you don't need to go out and buy a brand new computer just for this, which is a good thing. I'm using this. It's an old compact server. I'd say it's worth it. So, what are the requirements for Smoothwall? Well, you'll be glad to know that you don't need to use a computer monitor. Although, a lot of systems you will need to have a mouse and keyboard, or at least a keyboard attached to it indefinitely. Under the best circumstances, you won't. But then again, that's the best circumstances. The box is pretty much designed, Smoothwall is pretty much designed to be set up, installed, sorry, installed, set up, and then basically left for all eternity. A lot of people out there might be using a Wi-Fi network or wireless network. And I know a lot of these people would have a modem and wi wireless uh, all in one, which, which would only mean you need to go out and buy yourself uh, an access point, a wireless access point, which would cost you about $100. You might be sitting there thinking, oh, well, why don't I just get a wireless card and whack it into the system? I mean, it's a computer after all. Not going to work so well. There are... It's difficult. Let's put it that way. You can pick up an access point for about 100 Australian dollars or something, sometimes cheaper, sometimes a lot cheaper, but then again, it depends on what you want. If you do go down that path, I highly recommend that you disable wireless, your Wi Fi, on your actual modem itself, otherwise, using this is going to be pointless. This also means you'll have to go through and reconfigure the whole thing, and for please, of all possibility, use security, or you can set security up on this thing. And you won't have to worry about your Wi-Fi network since the only people will be able to get access to the internet are those who know the passwords. Anyway, what do you need in a system? Well, as I said before, you don't need a monitor. You will need a monitor initially for the installation. Afterwards, you don't. But sometimes it's good to have one spare just in case something happens, like the hard drive dying, which happened in one place. Anyway. A lot of people are probably wondering what, what is this going to be good for me? Well, if you're a, say a small, medium organization or business, and you need to monitor what your internet's being used for, how much it's being used, all that sort of thing, stuff, you can actually get all the software for free. It doesn't cost you a thing. This would save a bundle, especially when it comes to, well, security, since this is a device for security. The only real requirement is at least two network cards, two of these things. Any old net network card will do. You can also use the old ice ones if you get your hands on them, surprisingly enough, but a lot of uh, what we call old systems that people would still be looking at using on the type of PCIs. You can, if you want to, use a 486. That's perfectly okay. It's designed for that, but it will slow down the rest of your network depending on what you're doing with it. Anyway, these are two network cards. Uh, this one's D-Link, this one's an Intel, my favourite. So, you might be wondering, well, this is going to be very difficult to install. For people who sit there, look at the screen, and they don't bother to read it, and they freak out, of course it's going to be difficult. Try not to freak out. I don't freak out when I look at something new on the screen. I sit there and I wonder what it is. And then gradually over time I generally seem to fully and I generally seem to grasp what it's trying to do. The other thing is you don't need a terribly big hard drive. You could get away with say four gigabytes maybe. I mean hell this thing is, isn't much of a download, it's under hundred megabytes. <laughs> anyway, next video will instruct you on how to download and also how to set up the box and then I'll go through with installing the firewall, I'll show you how to access it and do all the installation configuration without needing this.
you don't need to be a network engineer or have a degree in uh, some sort of a advanced technology degree to be able to do this. If you're a person at home, a parent, <coughs> and you're worried about what your kids are doing, this is a great, possibly, what, what, once you get used to it, it wouldn't take about an hour to do this, but it, it's not that long to set up. Once you have all the right tools and equipment, I mean, all you need is a screwdriver to install this thing, and some cables, which you can make, and I don't have any on hand. Anyway, <coughs> if you are, if you do already have a separate Wi-Fi, uh, wireless access point and modem, this would be perfect. Although, <clears throat> right now I'm using my own, uh, well, it's Telstra modem, XG1, it's got its, it's, it's for the NextG network, so it doesn't actually hook up through a landline. What I've done is I've disabled the landline and using the built-in Wi-Fi and onboard Ethernet to uh, have my little network, and I'll explain later on how to do that. So for those of you who might have something that's you know usable, by all means. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to stop yappering on, and I'm going to start uploading these to the internet.